Hi, Patrick here from Revisiting the Review. Um, that's right, the new segment here on my channel. Uh, I have gone back to some of the uh, movies I first reviewed on my blog, The Inner Circle, and now I'm bringing them up to here and rewatching them and revisiting, reviewing, rev uh, revisiting the review. Um, seeing if my, my opinion of the movies the first time I watched them has they changed during the second time. Uh, so, so far we've done two. It's been a lot of fun. Um, uh, we've done a, uh, uh, we did an action movie with mercenaries. We've done a, a crazy sci-fi nature amok movie with Arctic Blast. Uh, and for this one, we got into the dramatics. Uh, and so tonight we'll be talking about Into Temptation. Uh, this star Jeremy Sisto, uh, Christian Chenoweth, Bruce, uh, uh, Bruce Bombs. Baumgartner. It came out in 2009. It was written and directed by Patrick Coyle. Uh, I got this film for a dollar over at the uh, Family Video. And, um, and this is my, like I said, this is my sixth review that I ever did. Six. So uh, the reason I got the movie too, uh, when I saw the cover, I saw Jeremy Sisto there and I like, I know who he is because uh, he did Wrong Turn. He had he had the first death in the Wrong Turn franchise, uh, which was rather memorable. And uh, uh, and then there's Christian Chenoweth, who I knew from various comedies, uh, as well as musicals, including uh, Wicked, uh, where she played Glinda the Good Witch. So I knew who she was, but I had never seen her do a dramatic role before. So I went ahead and I picked it up solely on that reason alone. And glad that I did. Um, uh, this is a very moving. Uh, uh, this is a very moving story. Um, a, a young lady named Linda, who's played by Christian Chenoweth, she wakes up. Um, she has decided that she's going to make a life changing change, a life changing change on her birthday. Um, she is going to end her life. That's that's what she's going to do. So she goes inside uh, a Catholic church, and she goes, and she, and Father John is there, who's played by Jeremy Sisto, and she confesses that it's been about 19, 20 years since she's did a confession, and he, she basically confesses that on her, on, uh, uh, on her birthday, that she is going to kill herself, and uh, he, she wanted him to know. Uh, of course, Father John, he, he, he can tell that she's serious. But when he goes outside to talk to her, she has vanished. She has vanished. And so the movie sets up Father John to find out who, who this woman is. And he begins to, to investigate it. Uh, he knows for some reason in the back of his head, there's something about this woman that has, has triggered him. Uh, that has caused him to put everything he knows and loves at risk. In order to find this, to find Linda, and to see if he can help her anyway, and of course this leads Father John to various cities area, and including porn stores, uh, uh, meeting a, a, a like the one of the biggest pimps in the city, um, just going where, where he shouldn't be going, and uh, but he's he's trying to find this woman, and he. He just barely misses her over and over and over. We see that. He's just right behind her. So you get the idea that maybe he will catch her. Uh, and But you'll have to see if he really does or not. Because in one sense he does, in one sense he doesn't. And we also find out why uh, this, this lady chose Father John. She didn't pick him out randomly. There was a reason why. And he has to figure this out. Why, why is she putting this on him? And, um, and so that's the story and there's not very much time. The time, the clock is ticking. Um, this is a beautiful movie. It's heartbreaking. I won't lie to you about that. It's, it's heartbreaking. Um, but it's also hopeful and we get, a, uh, uh, Jeremy Sisto plays Father John and Linda and, uh, a Christian channel plays Linda with a tremendous amount of grace. Um, this is that this this doing the doing this review of this film, um, and rewatching this film. I have not seen this for quite a while. Um, I can see why I picked it. <laughs> I, I you know and I'm glad that I did, 
It's very, very good. And uh, it's slept on. No one knows about this movie. Nobody knows. Um, and it's one of channel. If you're a Christian Chenoweth fan, and you're used to just seeing her as flighty and, and, and bubbly, you owe it to yourselves as a fan of hers to go watch her in this performance as Linda Salerno. It'll 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 be it'll be an, uh, an eye opener for you. Uh, Jeremy Sisto, the guy is just rock steady. Um, he paired up with Anthony Anderson to do the last two seasons of uh, Law and Order. In fact, when I heard that Law and Order was coming back and that Anthony Anderson was coming back, I really had hoped that they would find a way to get Jeremy Sisto back into the fold, but. He had already started to do uh, another series for Dick Wolf called uh, the FBI, so he plays a agent on that series over well over there. But it would have been nice because that was two of the strongest uh, seasons of Law and Order, and it really it rests on the shoulders of Anthony Anderson and Jeremy Sisto. They were that good. Christian Chenoweth has always been outstanding, whether as a singer, as an actress. Uh, she's just been outstanding, and this is being an eye opener again. If you've never seen her do a dramatic chop, dramatic role, if you ever wondered if she would ever, she could pull it off, rest assured she can, and she did. This is a really strong movie, and one that I really, um, I really liked. I, I would say enjoy, but the subject matter is that's not an appropriate word for it, like a joy, but it is really moving, and it will touch your heart, and um. I'll have you talking afterwards. Uh, recommend that you watch it with somebody. Definitely. Uh, the only bad thing I did not like about this, and I commented on my on my my review, was the special features were really next to nothing, man. Which is a real shame because, boy, of all of all of all movies to have a, a commentary, this would have been it. Um. This movie is also rated R as well. I got to let you know that too. Rate it's rated R for language. Um. It easily could have been taken. You could have easily taken the language out of the movie, and still not lost none of its power. Um, an interesting little aspect of this too is you might recognize a face in this in this movie that has become more well known for home improvement shows. Um, before Amy Matthews became an HGTV star, she was an actress, and um, and so she also had a role in here as well. And she did really well. She she definitely can see she has some chops there too. She was really quite uh, really quite pretty and quite charming in this. Um, so I did not I didn't I didn't know that when I did my investigation when the first time I saw this you know, like who, who was in this movie I was really surprised to see it was Amy Matthews from the um, from the Home Improvement shows. But there you go. Uh, you should be able to get this on at eBay or Amazon. It's streaming on Tubi for free. This is for free on Tubi right now, so if you want to check it out, you most certainly can. Uh, I'll leave the, my first review, my original review, I'll leave a link down below. I'll also leave the link down to the Tubi. If you want to go down there and check that out, by all means do so. All right, well, that's it for us. Thank you so much. Uh, we will see you next Friday at 2 p.m. for uh, another one, uh, revisiting the review. Uh, thanks so much for your support, and we will talk at you soon. Peace.